Hi, we are Cannibal Kitchen and today we have a special program with one of the best icons of the breakcore and electronic music in Berlin. Uh, we are with Enrico Girl. Hi Enrico. Hey. How are you doing man? I'm fine. I, I'm not a DJ, I mean, uh, I'm not used to play with records. Off. I always uh, compose my music by myself uh, and the reason why is that uh, when uh, a DJ is a good DJ, I like to dance. <laughs> a lot of influence from played music, I mean, with real instrument, not uh, synthesizer, drum machine or stuff like that. And actually that what I come from. I mean, before making electronic music, I was in, uh, I was playing the, ba the bass guitar in an industrial experimental band and then in other bands uh, and singing. So I started to make it seriously from 2004, I think, uh, with the first machine, uh, first Roland 303 or first Electribe uh, from Korg. Uh, yeah. One year and a half, uh, what I did uh, was to come a little bit, bit uh, back uh, uh, in my music experimentation because I did a break or a really weird one <laughs> for several times. And then since I'm here in Berlin, uh, I came back to something more 4-4 uh, style, but still uh, tricky. <laughs> tell somebody that really influenced my music uh, not really the music itself uh, but uh, my behavior in music uh, yeah surely one uh, is Christoph Ringeli really influenced me a lot I mean the first breaker stuff I heard uh, was from him and to me sounds so nice and weird at the same time and also in the way to cut uh, and arrange crazy breaks <laughs> What I'm doing basically is a mix of breakcore, UK industrial and hardcore. I listen everything uh, I could like uh, and uh, I try to melt uh, it uh, in the best way I can, uh, trying to give uh, some kind of structure that works for me and some kind of feeling that works for me as well. So Enrico, now in the machines. Yeah, we, we start, start to, <laughs> to to cook it. So for today uh, we cook something pretty simple uh, <laughs> because I'm really not the best in cooking, but uh, I try to do my best. And it's like uh, pasta with uh, uh, tuna fish. Uh, so we put some oil. This is Italian one as well. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I don't exactly know what's the name of this in English, but in Italian is soffritto. Ah, so this is something you make before uh, putting tomatoes and stuff like okay. that. I'm really not a uh, vegetarian. Actually, I don't eat that much vegetables. Uh, <laughs> if I had to choose, I'm much more cannibal than vegetarian. Actually, not everybody likes this. I mean, many people like uh, the onion with big, uh, in big pieces, but I really don't. So <laughs> I invite you in my kitchen and I am the boss. Uh, so okay. I choose. <laughs> the oil. 
the main point is the pasta. This is a real Italian one. Sorry to say, but if it's not Italian, it's not exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, salt, a bit of sugar, just a little bit for the tomato, because tomato got acid stuff inside and with just a little bit of uh, sugar, you can uh, improve the taste. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, tuna fish. Yeah. Uh, Catina tomato is one thing, but this one, for example, okay. it's already worked, you know? Yeah, yeah. This one that makes the tomato a bit more tasty because, as I say, yeah, we don't have exactly Italian ingredients, so uh, I must find a way to let it be tasty. <laughs> <laughs> To let the sauce be very, very tasty, you should uh, put a really smooth uh, fire and uh, let it cook for hours and hours. Like in south of Italy, there is this. Uh, a uh, way of cooking uh, that they need uh, almost the whole day to cook. Oh, that's hard to explain uh, in English. It's like, uh, like dado, dado. it's like some mixture of vegetables uh, in dust, uh, how to say. Uh, uh, powder. Yeah, exactly. And uh, it gives a lot of taste to the food. The sauce is going on. Pasta dente is uh, between seven to eight, nine minutes. Uh, I come from Emilia Romagna, it's in the middle uh, north uh, on the east coast. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's not exactly something typical uh, from any region because it's something that everybody in Italy eats, you know. Of the music industry? Wow, that's a really nice question. I mean, the future of the music. It's really hard to figure out uh, it should be. I mean, uh, everything is changing somehow. I'm speaking uh, especially about uh, releasing your music uh, and uh, the label itself. Like, for example, the vinyl market is dying, and that's something that I really don't like, even if I don't play with records, but uh, wow, that's the music, you know what I mean? And if we speak about uh, music direction, uh, ah, that's really hard to understand uh, what, what will happen, uh, or even to figure what could happen, because uh, yeah, there are so many things developing, uh, but in my opinion, not so much good things developing. And uh, yes, yeah, so I still find uh, some of the best thing, uh, like doing again something that was already done, but in a better way with new influences. <laughs> <laughs> I choose for myself uh, to believe uh, in what I do and what I have, you know, more than politics uh, and stuff like that. So mm, I don't ever try to, uh, how to say, to put uh, me political messages in my music. Uh, but if we speak about society somehow and how to play music, okay, I'm a bit involved in that. Anyway, it's not really my aim. I mean, uh, play music, it's enough. And if I can prove my skills and uh, playing good party, yeah, that's really what I want to do. Everybody got the right to dance and to don't pay for this, or at least paying the minimum of the minimum. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really 
releasing uh, one track uh, on a record. Uh, the label is uh, Mechanical Brain, an Italian label. I really suggest you to search for that label because I like it a lot. Yeah, if you search for uh, our record, you will find it definitely. It's Mechanical Brain 003. Good. I'm showing the two releases I already made on record. This is the first one, as I say, Mechanical Brain 002 with me, Infernal Noise, Caviar, Kepalapier, and DJ Freak. Total industrial hardcore shit. <laughs> the second one is my personal, my, my first uh, seven inch, as I said, on Mechanical Brain Limited, and there are two, two tracks from me. <laughs> For me, the maximum is when somebody is playing in live set his own music and uh, playing his track in a way that is not possible almost to recognize them and try to play them in an interest way that could be possible to dance but at the same time uh, enough crazy to take all of your energies, you know. <laughs> Ah!